Good morning. So today we're going to the National Bison Range in Montana and it's supposed to be like a really awesome spot for like seeing wildlife. Uh, not just bison but like bear and elk and like the whole lines and if you guys know anything about us we love our animals. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We clean the windshield just for you guys so that you can see what we see. Um, and other than that, we're going to be uh, getting close to Flathead Lake today. So I'm really excited. It's like an hour and a half away from where we are now. Joey is currently in the hardware store picking up a bucket. So from there, we're headed to the range and uh, we'll see what we can find. Look guys, you can kind of see the mountains again. Cause yesterday, like you couldn't even see them, but it did rain. So I think that helped with the smoke and probably some of the fires too, depending on where it rained. But yeah, I'm hoping to see some wildlife. By the way, pro tip, if you get this America the Beautiful Pass, not only does it get you in national parks, it'll also get you in like, like stuff like the Garnet Ghost Town and this uh, National Bison Range. Yeah. So it's totally worth the 80 bucks. It's basically paid for itself at this point. It has. So let's do it. In 1870, the bison population was in the 10 million range. Then a federal program to eradicate bison launched in the United States. By destroying the Native Americans' vital food resource, Americans forced the natives into the reservations. And by the 1800s, bison were nearly extinct with a low of 100 wild bison remaining. The National Bison Range was then established in 1908 by Theodore Roosevelt. It was the first wildlife refuge in the United States funded by taxes. The bison herd on the range is currently between 350 and 500 bison. In 2018, there was an estimated 500,000 bison roaming in North America. There are many other animals living on the range. Black bears, antelope, elk, deer, bighorn sheep, cougars, and many more. The bison range is not a zoo, so you're not guaranteed to see animals. We didn't get so lucky on our trip, but we did see a few bison, and we took amazing panoramic views the drive offers. If we came back, it would definitely be earlier in the summer before wildfire season, so the mountains and the sky is more visible. We did some digging online and found out this fire was started by a 63-year-old man outside of Hot Springs, Montana. He was burning scrap lumber next to a pile of tires and left the fire unattended. It got out of hand and it took seven local fire departments and air resources just to contain the fire. Fire officials said the tires fueled the blaze and kept them from extinguishing the fire. Several small structures were burnt and the man was charged with felony negligent arson. So guys, this is our camp for the evening. We just took the dogs for a decent little walk around the hiking trail here. This is Swan Lake in Big Fork, Montana. This is an eye overlander spot that we found. So this is basically just a pull off on the side of the road. If you got any value in this video, hit this subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, share the video around to your friends or other van lifers you may know. That would really help us out and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.